friends welcome back to your channel learning more with prerna friends friends please do like share and subscribe to your channel learning more with prerna so friends today i have come with an another and important and interesting topic that is fundamental duties so as a citizen of india there are certain duties which are being given to all the citizens and as a citizen it is our duty to follow these fundamental duties which are being given by our constitution to us so when we speak about fundamental duties it is in the fourth chapter of our constitution in part a and it is uh, it lies or it is in uh, it is in the article 51 a of our constitution so friends let us see what are the 11 points there are actually 11 fundamental duties which are given by the uh, indian constitution to all its citizens so let us see what are those fundamental rights so friends first we are going to see uh, you know before 1942 we had only 10 fundamental duties and after 1942 there was one fundamental duty which was being added and if i tell you about that fundamental duty i guess all of us will be happy that you know the government made a rule that the parent should provide education to its uh, their children who are under the age of 6 to 14 years that is rte was been implemented by the constitution by our constitution to all its citizens so first friends let us see what are the fundamental duties which are been enlisted in our constitution to its citizen first thing we are going to see that you know as a citizen it is our duty to respect our national anthem national flag and national song or whatever it is we have to respect our nation so first thing what is being enlisted in our constitution is respecting our national flag and national anthem see uh, friends as we are citizen of uh, this country and it is this land is providing us each and everything so it is our primary duty to respect the national flag as well as respecting the national anthem and next thing what we are going to see is to protect the integration of india see as we are indians we are not being represented by the state right we are being represented representing ourselves through a country named by the name of the country that is india or indians that so we have to be integrated we have to unite or we have to be united when we are in our country rather than fighting or rather than you know may, uh, creating some riots we have to be united in our country for and it is our duty to maintain peace in our country and next thing what we are going to see is to defend our motherland it is our primary duty to defend our motherland see friends whenever there is an emergency we will be called for the sake of for the protection of our motherland so we should be ready to protect or defend our motherland and to protect the motherland from any uh, external or internal in, uh, uh, you know invasions and next we are going to see that we should have the feeling that we all are common sharing the common brotherhood we all feel that we should all feel that we are brothers and sisters and we should not fight with others and we should not harm any other because all of us are though we are you know from different state different religion different you know parts of india but we all belong to one nation that is india and we should have unity among ourselves we should maintain peace and it is you know our fundamental duty and we all are you know brothers and sisters next we are going to see uh, that we have to preserve the rich heritage of india see we have so many traditions we have so many cultures we have so many things that which we are following so it is our primary duty to protect those religion those culture and those traditions which are being followed since a long back so we have to preserve the rich heritage of india and even we have to you know a rich heritage does not only refer to the you know traditions culture values and all at the same time even we have to protect our country's monument or you know palaces whatever we have the you know historical things at the same time we have to even preserve them and next we are going to see that it is our primary duty to protect the environment so friends as you all know when there is a good environment we can you know be healthy so maintaining a good environment is very important and it is our primary duty to maintain a good environment rather than polluting our environment or rather than you know destroying our environment it is our primary duty to protect the environment and next we are going to see it is 
our primary duty to safeguard the public property. Whenever we see any public property, it is a public property, so we cannot, you know, destroy or we cannot harm that public property. So as a citizen of India, it is our primary duty to protect all the public properties. Public property refers to the bus stands, the railway stations, the, you know, temples or the historical monuments, all this belongs to the public property and we, it is our duty to protect them and to preserve them. And next we are going to see, you know, uh, we have to inspire our national integration. As you all know, India was a, a you know, country which was under the Britishers. So, there were many freedom fighters or there were many people who have, you know, sacrificed their life for the sake of freedom or the, uh, you know, independence. So, it is our primary duty to, you know, inspire the people, other people in our country about these freedom fighters or about these sacrifices. And next, you can see that, you know, we have to develop the scientific temper. So, what do you mean by scientific temper? See, friends, if someone is telling not to do certain things, you should not just, you know, uh, tell or agree with them because in India, we have, you know, a right to speech or right to, you know, uh, think. So, it is our primary duty to get to know why we are not supposed to do particular thing. Just take an example. If someone tell you not to do certain things, you should know the reason behind that rather than just accepting what they are telling. So, that scientific temper should be developed in the, uh, you know, among the people of the country. And next up, you know, uh, getting excellence in the individual and the collective activities. So friends, as you all know, we all are one. We are Indians. So we should not only always try to improve an individual or to improve a one particular person. It is our duty to help all the people and we should always, you know, uh, implement the inclusive policy. We have to take inclusive policy to develop all the people in the country rather than, you know, uh, the, rather than giving the wealth or the rather than giving the money power in the hands of the few, we have to give all the powers to all its citizens equally. And next we are going to see that is education from 6 to 14 years. The parents in India are requested to provide the basic education to all its children by uh, who are under the age of 6 to 14. Who are between the age of 6 to 14. The parent is supposed to provide education to this uh, age group. Or else the children can complain against the parents for, for not providing them the education. So these were some of the fundamental duties which are being enlisted in our constitution. Hope you would have liked this video and it would have helped you. So please do like, share and subscribe to your channel. Learning more with friends. Thank you so much.